Hi Taurus, welcome to your Week Ahead Taroscope with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. Quick note, my readings are for your Sun, Moon and Ascendant signs. So whether you're a Sun, Moon or Rising Sign Taurus, this is for you. And I always advise that you watch all three to get a clearer, more complete picture of how they speak to you. With that said, if you are a continued subby, you know Raffi loves ya. And if you are new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share, and if you should so choose and it resonates, hit that subscribe button. Before we start, as always, I would like to bless my deck of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity, and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise, and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So for your key to the week this week, you have the tower, all right? So I know a lot of you out there are like, oh no, here we go. <laughs> a big bad boom. Um, all right, so let's be honest, right? It is the tower. That does mean that in some way, shape or form, this week is gonna be about upheaval for you. There are going to be changes. There are gonna be challenges that come up. But remember, wherever the tower destroys, usually has seen its final days in our lives anyway. And when this card comes up for you, it usually means that you're about to get a big perspective shift. Wherever it is that you've been stubborn or hard headed, I'm a fixed sign with a lot of fixed energy. So I feel you. <laughs> <laughs> right, wherever it is that you've been too stubborn or maybe you've resisted the change or the shift, this week something is going to be shaken up for you to the point where you can't ignore it anymore. This is one of the reasons when this card comes up for people, I often say that to them, the cracking of the illusion. An illusion relies on you believing that it is reality for it to be perpetuated. So this week, whatever groundbreaking or shattering, uh, you know, insight comes to you, it's one that you wouldn't have come to on your own without the shakeup that's happened. For your actions and options, you have the judgment card. Very interesting, because Aries got this same card in the same position. So I'm like, okay, what's going on here? Uh, it does look like this week you are not only making a big decision, but this week it looks like one of the, the directions that you are moving in is something completely new to you. Remember that the judgment card always precedes a massive shift or change in our lives. Very often something that we don't expect. Um, the fact that you've got the tower card here as well, a new perspective, a new idea, a new understanding. This could be in a lot of ways you going in a completely different direction. Maybe you're pulling a 180. Uh, you know, you might find that there are a lot of people around you that are like, what the are you doing? <laughs> you know, it may not, and it, you might find this week as well, that whatever path you go down, it makes sense to you. Like in your gut, in your bones, you feel like whatever you're doing is the right way for you to go. And it's like everyone around you could be like, okay, dude, I have no idea what you're doing right now. I have no idea where you're going. And there's just like in my body right now, I'm having shush Siri, mind your business. <laughs> <laughs> in my body and in my chest, I have this feeling right now. It's like you're being pulled towards something and there'll be an echo. It's not good, like, even though it's gonna be something brand new, something novel, some new direction that you're going in, there's something about this that feels like a part of your soul is remembering something. So you might find that whatever direction you go in this week, for you, it just feels totally natural, but to everyone around you, it's like, I have no idea what you're doing right now. Um, that's just gonna be a part of the discomfort that you feel. And so if some of the things or the people around you fall away this week, maybe that's what has to happen for you to go into this new space. For your communications and conversations, you have the lover's card. For those of you that are um, partnered, married, or in long-term relationships, it's great to pivot. It's awesome to take new directions. It's awesome to be open to what the options in life actually are in front of us. If you have a partnership, let them know. If you're suddenly about to take a, a hairpin left or a you know sharp right out of you know like a bat out of hell. It doesn't matter the decision that you're making. What matters is that you let them know. Let your lover, your partner, the person that is your, um, I don't wanna say Cody, cause it's not about codependency. Um, but the person that you, you know, like when people say like, this one holds me down, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm such a dork. Um, you, 
you just whoever your person is give them the time the courtesy and the love that they deserve to let them know the direction that you're going in so that they can a be aware b support you should they choose to and c out of common courtesy all right it's it, it in all ways actually wherever you're pivoting this week just let the people that you are attached to especially the ones that you care about most let them know for those of you that work for yourselves okay i'm starting there obviously business owners entrepreneurs solopreneurs um there's something about home and relationship this week that are having a bit of a dust up right and you because it's right underneath the tower so you might find that your work schedule clashes with your partner's work schedule you may find that um you know the the work that you do has an overlap but you don't seem to be able to agree on it there's some sort of friction here in the relationship that comes from or through the work but actually, it could be the thing that ends up really bonding you even closer, um, you know, bringing you even closer at a later date. Uh, for those of you that are uh, working for yourselves that aren't in marriages or partnerships or businesses, um, uh, uh, marriages or partnerships or relationships, um, this suggests to me that there are new options that are going to be available to you. Because they come through the tower though, there is going to have to be likely a lot that will need to shift in order for you to put this in place um but be prepared because it looks like a really great offer you, uh, for those of you that work for somebody else um this week <laughs> you might find that you end up connecting to somebody through your work this week that really off offsets you or puts you off kilter it's kind of like that moment you know when you meet somebody and you instantly have an attraction to them or you instantly like them and you're like I feel really flustered and I know it's showing and my face is going red and I hate this right now. <laughs> that might happen for you this week, so just be prepared. Another way that this could show up for you though is um, you could have either some sort of extra responsibility thrust upon you or another opportunity for or with or through work may open up for you. But again, it's going to be, it's something that puts you sort of Ugh, I, I don't really know how to, to deal with this right now. So just as long as you're prepared, I think you'll be all right. Um, for those of you that are retired or no longer working for any reason, one of the things that comes up with the, the lover's card is um, where and how you do your decision making. And this week, it kind of feels like that's the thing that you're going to be looking into or questioning most. It's like you're saying to yourself, you know what? how i usually come to my conclusions is a b plus c equals d but that doesn't work it's like you're changing your formula for your decision making this week in some way shape or form and i actually feel like that energy kind of applies to a lot of you actually for your money and materials you better get this money i uh, love it right you've got the ten of cups this suggests when it comes to your health there is healing available to you when it comes to your physical body uh, there is healing available to you when it comes literally to your money and your finances this is great. This actually card actually represents material security in a lot of ways. Uh, for some of you, your partner or your um, spouse, if you have one, could be getting really good news about their work or you know some sort of boost to the finances. When it comes to your personal money, some big decision that you're making this week could end up being very lucrative for you or could certainly bring you new exposure in some way. Um, when it comes to your home and environment, this is a beautiful card because it suggests that the end of whatever you're working on or towards in the home is it's like you can finally see that light at the end of the tunnel. You can finally see like, okay, this is what it's gonna look like when it's done. This is what it's gonna feel like when we've stopped doing A, B and C to the place. And it's funny because a lot of Taurians seem to be doing a lot to or with or around the home right now. For your love and relations, you've got the Knight of Swords. Okay, so there is a little bit of tumultuous conversation here. But it doesn't have to be all bad. I actually think it's, it's healthy in relationships to have debate. You're not carbon copies of each other. Your mirrors, your partners, your opposites, your, you know, you know, your mates. One of you brings uh, the light, one of you brings the dark. When this one's bringing the dark, the other one brings the light and vice versa. Like It's supposed to be a mixture of all of your traits. You can't always agree on everything. And the fact that you guys are getting passionate about something 
partners, uh, relationships, people that are in marriages. There's something this week that you are both willing to fight for. And as long as you remember that you're fighting for the same thing in the long run, I think you'll be all right. So whatever disagreements you're having this week, it looks like they can actually bring you stronger, especially when this week you kind of stand back and say, you know what? actually you're entitled to your opinion and while i disagree it doesn't change how i feel about you um so it's going to be an interesting week for partnerships clearly because this is all over this reading uh when it comes to your those of you that are single whoever that person is <laughs> For those of you that are meeting someone through your work, for those of you that are meeting someone through another connection, maybe this person happens to be there when you go to a friend's house. Maybe this person happens to be present when you go for drinks with, uh, you know, with the, the work crew or like there's however it happens for you. Even, excuse me, even if it's only over, you know, the airways, there'll be something about this person. <laughs> that really almost rubs you up the wrong way. Like you might be frustrated uh, about something that they say. There might be something that they do that you think like, oh God, you know, you really get on my nerves. Or um, or it could be the opposite reaction where you're just like, you feel really flustered and you're like, okay, this person's really making me nervous and I don't like it and I don't know why. You, because you guys are usually very in control of everything. <laughs> Right? So to suddenly find yourself slightly out of your depth, I think is going to be an experience for you. Um, but that energy kind of feels like it's that whole opposite to track. There's something about this person that will at first really, you'll just be like, I, I can't deal. And then as it transpires, you'll be like, oh my gosh, I actually like you. That's what's going on here. <laughs> With that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have an amazing week. Uh, let me know in the comments how it shapes up. Take care and I'll see you soon.